All right, so we're in the new temporary dirt shop. As you can see, it's quite a mess. Um, this is my temporary setup until I build my shop, which I'm doing a whole series on. We'll get to that. But uh, yeah, it's been a challenge just getting stuff set up in here. And um, I got a lot of stuff. So anyways, it's uh, coronavirus time in our lives and I need something to get my mind off of the madness so I pulled out this motorcycle again um, if you guys want to go back and watch part one I'll put a link above um, it's a pretty cool series of me getting this thing running but uh, yep we know this is a runner it's a 1980 CB400 and that was almost a year and a half ago definitely a year that I did that um, I haven't worked on it since. Uh, one thing I did that was stupid, as you can see, I filled the gas tank up with apple cider vinegar because it had a little bit of rust in it. And well, I forgot about it for that year and it literally exploded everywhere and pretty much ruined this gas tank. Um, the inside has a bunch of chunks in it and it's just a nightmare so I'm gonna attempt to save it and um, I'm gonna fill it with some old gas I have and wash it around to try to get it cleaned out um, and then maybe follow it up with some uh, acetone or denatured alcohol uh, that's just all I have right now um, <clears throat> I'm looking at this thing I I went through some of the parts and the biggest thing is I'm missing a ton of bolts like almost all the bolts for like the stuff that I need to put on still so I'm gonna pull out like my metric hardware that I have and um, see if I can make some stuff work um, what I am gonna do just to keep my spirits up which uh, which you gotta do on these like crazy projects because they just get super intense I'm gonna paint the wheels black and um, so I'm gonna paint the the wheels black and then respray the the engine with some high temp paint and start cleaning it up and then I'm gonna try to you know save that gas tank and I'm gonna go with a tan color on that um, that seat is just the stock seat but uh, my plan was to buy a cafe style and cut the rear do all that fun stuff so I've got some parts laid out but let's uh Let's dig into that gas tank and see if we can save it and then start pulling these um, these wheels off and doing my old card trick to give them a nice coat of flat black. That'll at least be something to do right now. So, Sweet. Let's do it, guys. this out I don't know if I can focus it on there let's see yeah you can't see in there it's all right here I'll get a light so I got it all cleaned out which is good the apple cider vinegar actually did what it was supposed to do maybe a little too much um, 
So I am gonna uh, fill it with gas so it doesn't flash rust. Uh, which means that like condensation, kind of moisture um, can rust all that. It looks like it's actually galvanized or potentially just spotted from the apple cider vinegar. I got like a little bit in there still in the reservoir and I tried blowing it out with air. But anyways, um, what I'm gonna do is uh, clean off the petcock because um, it has a bunch of apple cider vinegar on it and uh, and then give a shot at um, trying to sand this down and I'm gonna I think I'm gonna paint it tan so we'll get that cleaned up petcock's currently seized because it's been sitting in I'll need a new one but I need something just to seal it off for now so I'll blow this out with air and see how it lines up They're not that expensive anyway. I'll probably need a new one of these too, so. All right, so we're gonna sand that thing.